Great catching up with my next guest. It's been about, I don't know, seven years since we last did an interview, but never too late to catch up with CJ Hamilton, who's got a big fight coming up here. Israel Galvan, November 22nd. Uh, CJ, how you doing, man? Good, James, man. How about yourself? No complaints. Uh, happy to be talking to you. A pretty uh, stacked event you got coming up here. Um, tell me how this fight all came together with you getting to fight Israel Galvan. Uh, really, just uh, I got a great manager, Orrin Hodak, KO Reps. Um, we were looking for, you know, we've been looking for the past couple of years for another 125 fight ever since I uh, fought my last contract fight uh, in Bellator. Mm. And we couldn't find any. And uh, somehow, like I said, my, my manager's a hound with these fights, man. And uh, the opportunity presented himself. And here we are. Yeah, it all worked out because I was, I was going to ask you about that. I know you had the boxing fight. Um, I know you haven't, you know, fought at flyweight in a while either. Is it just that that's just it? It's tough to get fights in your weight class. Is that sort of been it? The, the sort as far as the layoff? Hundred yeah, percent. Um, so like as far as the layoff, it wasn't much of a layoff. I just, um, I I wasn't able to compete. Like you said, I wasn't able to uh, find these fights at one twenty five. Um, so you know the boxing fight, like I said. I, I hate being, you know, stagnant and not doing anything. I'm a competitor. And um, what better way to, you know, make my pro boxing debut alongside Nate Diaz and, you know, Jake Paul and a bunch of others um, on the card that were, you know, just it was just a great card. So um, I took advantage of the opportunity and ran with it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you haven't fought at flyweight since I think March of 2019. I, I imagine you've done a, a test cut since then. Because when I've interviewed you, you've always fought at flyweight, but I know bantamweight's been more of the thing for you lately. Yeah, so, I mean, um, it was kind of, after COVID, it was hard to find some fights at flyweight. And um, <clears throat> so when I got signed to Bellator, I mean, I, I was um, signed to fight Magomed Magomedov. That's right. Um, two weeks notice. And I mean, like I said, I hate you know, during COVID, you know, the gym was closed and stuff like that. And right when the gym started to reopen after a few months or so, um, I was like, look, whatever fight we can get, we're going to take it. And um, once again, another opportunity I couldn't refuse. And I'm glad that I did it in hindsight because it gave me more experience fighting with these guys that are, you know, top 10 in the world. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited about next week. I'm excited about getting back to my roots at flyweight and uh, ready to get back in the cage and do uh, what I love to do. And let's talk about your opponent, 10 fight veteran, uh, but someone I've heard has sort of been on the cusp of the UFC for a while. So a good opponent for you as well, just because, you know, again, there's a lot of sort of hype behind him. Um, stylistically, mm -hmm. how are you looking at this one? I love this fight. Um, I love everything about it. I love that. Um, I feel confident in every position in this fight, wherever the fight goes. Um, and, and I think it's going to be a very fun fight for the fans and for us. Um, so I think, you know, letting flyweights be the co-main event, that's going to be amazing too, because, you know, normally the big boys are the co-main and main event. So we got Mitch McKee, he's a bantamweight, he's the main, and then you got us as the flyweight co-main event. I mean, you can't, you can't, you couldn't ask for a better card. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that as well. It's uh, They're pulling out all the stops for this event. Um, what about experience? You've been in there with some of the best. You mentioned Megamed, Megamedov. You've been in there with, you know, you've had opportunities like Contender Series. How much will that pay dividends in this spot? Because Israel really hasn't had those same type of opportunities you have. Man, I really think that um, it will help um, a lot in my favor just simply because of that exposure. Mm -hmm. Um, that big show exposure, any, any, you know, competition time is great. Um, but especially if you're at the top level. So I think it'll help me, um, more so than anything in this fight, as far as, you know, making sure that my mindset is in the right place and, you know, I'm focused, I'm dialed in and understanding the task at hand. Training camp. Who've been some of the main guys helping you get ready for this one? Man, um, so I got my training partners uh, from Revolution MMA. Um, they're our affiliate gym that we, uh, my head coach, my head jujitsu coach, excuse me, uh, Jimmy Fowler. Um, my buddy Joel Maddock. Uh, um, let's see, there's a few others. Uh, Julian Diaz, he's a teenager. Um, this kid, uh, I don't know if teenagers are the same as they were 10 years ago. Cause this kid's an absolute monster. Um, yeah. but, uh, 
Joe Maddock, uh, Julian Diaz, um, my buddy Christian Harden at Contemporary Martial Arts, Tyler Rucker, um, Gabe Peacock, Jared Carswell, just everybody that I've normally trained with, um, you know, and then I actually just got back from Knoxville MMA. Um, Dre Miley got some work in with nice. him and a few others. So I've been traveling a lot um, for this one. And then, you know, I've been getting some good wrestling in as well. So uh, pretty much just the same uh, teammates that have, you know, prepared me from for fights in the past. Um, it's just I'm, I'm happy to have them. I'm lucky to have them. And I got to ask, the cut's going well? Uh, getting down to 125? We're, we're about a week Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm actually so... <laughs> um, normally, uh, when I fought at 35, I could eat breakfast and lunch. Um, I won't be eating too much breakfast and lunch. And this is for fight week, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. uh, yeah. weigh-in day, I would eat breakfast. I don't think I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to be able to eat too much breakfast um, next Thursday. So, But it's going really well. It's going really well. Um, I woke up this morning to my strength and conditioning at 5.30, and uh, I was at, I was like 10 or 11 over, so everything's going perfectly fine. Your corner, who will be in the cage with you for this fight? Uh, my head coach, Chuck Cawthon, contemporary martial arts. Um, my other head coach, or associate head coach, Jimmy Fowler, uh, my head jiu-jitsu coach, and then uh, my training partner. Uh, he's a little bit bigger than I am, so I don't train with him as much. But uh, Jay Gray, those three guys will be in my corner. How's this fight playing out on November 22nd? How do you see it going down? I see it going down in my favor. Um, I, I I win it wherever it goes. If it goes to the ground, I win. If he keeps it standing, I win. Um, <laughs> I can win off of my back or in top position. Wherever it goes, I win. Where does a win put you? Obviously, I mentioned there's some hype behind Israel uh, sort of coming up. I mean, this is the type of win that's got to get some notice from from the bigger promotions, I would think, especially in your weight class. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we'll see. Um, I like to focus on the task at hand. Let's go ahead and get this win first, and then we'll talk about potential, um, you know, uh, moves later. Yeah. Um, so I just uh, – I'm literally just focused on the first fight, which is the weight cut. I win that. And the second fight is the most fun one and more so the easier one uh, in a way um, because that weight cut can, you know – mentally it could hurt you and physically it can so as long as i win this first one um and do everything that i'm supposed to the second one will be a breeze so i think um i'm just focused on that and just getting the job done and then we'll worry about that when we get to it it is uh baroka one i hope i'm saying that right november 22nd it's going to be a stacked event you certainly don't want to miss it if you can't go see it live check it out on spectation sports they'll be streaming the entire event cj this was great thank you so much for doing this if there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here any sponsors any social media want to mention i'll give you the last word oh yeah of course so i just want to thank my uh gym contemporary martial arts my coach uh Head coach Chuck Cawthon, uh, Revolution Martial Arts, my uh, jiu-jitsu coach and associate head coach Jimmy Fowler. Um, I would like to thank my dietitian Carolina Carolina Cawthon. Um, she's done wonders with my diet here as of recent, um, just simply because I'm moving down from 35. Um, I would like to thank Hill Insurance. Um, they've always had my back from day one. Uh, Contemporary Athletics, my strength and conditioning coach Ryan Haley. Um, this man is a madman, a mad scientist, excuse me. Um, I would like to thank Hot Shots Dance Company. Um, I would like to thank also Eagle Oil and uh, pretty much everybody that's been Team Autobot from the beginning. Here we go. We're right back at it.